this is a final video in our beginner vine plant tutorials. I have all of my vines and I have my dirt. And to assemble it, I'm gonna take my vine, and this is the front. Remember, this is the back with our tail. You can clearly see the stitches on the side. I'm gonna place my vine in, stick my hook underneath, wrap the tail on, and then pull through. And I'm gonna do that with all of these vines. And I'm not gonna stop the video, so you can either do it with me or pause and fast forward a bit. Doesn't matter which end you use as well, they're about the same. You also might notice you pull them through a little much, you can just pull them back or leave it. It doesn't really matter, it's personal preference. I'm just trying to get these randomly placed around. I only did 15 vines, but if you did 20 or more, yours will be a little bit fuller. Almost finished. Got a few more. <laughs> and my last one. Now these are not actually secured in, so let's tie them on. I'm going to square knot all of them together. I'm not just gonna square knot two together, two at a time, because that way they can still come out. Remember, you don't wanna bend your dirt, but you wanna make sure they're nice and tight. So I did one square knot. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go to the next one. And then go to the next one. And now I'm gonna connect all of them because if they're all connected, then they can't come undone. one. I'm going to check to make sure I didn't miss any by kind of tugging on these. Mm, looking pretty good. All right. To make it easier so, I'm going to trim these. You can use the strings and the tails as extra stuffing if you would like. I'm saving them for a different project, so I'm not going to do that in this video. And then I'm going to trim my vines. I do about half inch or, sh or so, but you can do it however you would like. Again, you can do this after, but I do it before because I find it a little easier to have less things in the way when I sew. There we go. We have the top. Let's get this to the base. Alrighty. Tucking the extra strings in. This is my sewing tail. It's nice and long. Ooh. The hook can go away. 
and I'm taking my tapestry needle and putting my end on. My opinion on sewing, doesn't matter how you do it as long as your thing does not come apart. So I'm kind of placing my dirt on top. I'm starting here. I'm going through the dirt. I'm going through both stitches, but you might see me occasionally only do the back loop or in other videos just do the back loop. Kind of depends on my mood. Um, it does look a little different, but not that much. So I went through the dirt and now I'm going to go back in the same spot in the orange. Pull through. So going through the pot and the dirt, pulling through and then going back only through the orange. I do almost all of my sewing like this, but you'll be able to discover which ones you like as you crochet some more. I'm gonna start moving down between my slip stitch line because I like the way that looks so the dirt's not right at top, but just about. So going through orange and brown, pull through and then just through orange. So I'm gonna continue this all the way until we're about three quarters of the way around. We wanna leave a hole so that we can do our stuffing. So go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you when you're about three quarters of the way around so we can stuff together. I'm about three quarters of the way around. I wanna start stuffing. So when you stuff, you do not just want to shove this entire thing in there. Because we want it to be the most fluffiest of all plants, we're going to pull it apart into little clumps and place it in individually. This is going to help create a nice, rounder, and fuller look. It also uses less stuffing, which is really nice in my opinion. My thoughts on stuffing are a little bit goes a long way but you also need more than you think you need. I'm not gonna overstuff this guy because I wanna make sure he sits nice and flat on the table or my shelf or wherever I decide I'm gonna put him. I haven't figured that out yet. Maybe a little more. I think that looks pretty good. I can kind of shape him some more if I want. Actually, I made him super flat. Yeah, I think he's looking pretty cute. So I'm gonna continue to sew and then we're gonna finish him up and I'll show you how to fasten off and hide your tails. And when you're coming around the dirt and you see this is the end, I don't know if you can really see that on the video. It's not perfectly round because our circle was worked in a spiral so that means our spiral has to end somewhere. You can either sew right at the end or sometimes I kind of fold it over and stick it in like the first stitch of the previous row. Kind of makes it a little rounder, but to be perfectly honest, it totally doesn't matter. As long as your stuffing doesn't show, I, I don't know. There are some people who really, really care about how they're sew and everything's perfect. I'm not one of those people. I like crocheting for fun. And I want my projects to make me happy and others happy. So if that means little things are imperfect, that is fine by me because that's how I like it. Then you know it was uniquely handmade by you. Okay, coming right across to the end. If you're having problems with the little fuzz, you can shove it back in or kind of pick it off. Again, not something that bothers me. It bothers some people though. All right, got like two more. Okay, this is gonna be my last one. And through. And fastening off on round objects is a lot of fun. Or hiding my tails, excuse me. 
So I'm gonna take my needle, I'm gonna poke it about a stitch or so right around the area that my tail's already in, and I'm gonna shove it anywhere that's orange and then pull through. You don't wanna pull it too tight because you don't wanna bend your object. Then take your scissors and you're gonna trim right on it. There you have it. We finished our vine beginner plant. I hope you enjoyed these tutorials and I hope you enjoyed making something handmade by you. If you're watching these videos without the kit, you can purchase them on Etsy. The link's in the description. Kit comes with all the supplies you need and obviously all the video, video tutorials you need. The pattern itself is sold separately, is also sold separately. Um, the kit does come with the pattern. If you would just like the pattern, use your own yarn. Comment below if this is your very first crochet project. I would love to know. Go ahead and like this video and please subscribe so you can stay up to date on other crochet tutorials and projects and it really helps grow my channel so we can bring more products to you. Thank you.